This is an oxygen concentrator machine. It is from AOLS. Now the complete setup is like this. So here we have an on and off button. There is a power cord here. The thing about this is like this is this operates on 110 volt. In India we have 220 volt. So there is a converter machine here which converts 220 volt to 110 volt. Now let's look at the machine. Here is the digital interface. There is an oxygen outlet, power button. This is a circuit breaker in case. This is an oxygen measurement flow tube in which you can monitor how many liters of, of oxygen per minute you need. Adjustment knob and here we put the humidifier machine bottle. This is a humidifier bottle. Uh, inside a bottle there is a mark, there is will be a marking for a leaf refill and the maximum capacity. Ideally the water level should be in between of that. You have to attach this here like this. This pipe goes to the outlet here. Okay. Now we will start the machine. So first step is to just press the button. Give it some time to start because first there will be a red light and then goes to oxygen. When this light is on, it means it's motion. machine is working perfect. When there is a second light here, it comes as yellow. That means there is something wrong with the machine. Most probably you haven't turned on this knob or there is an obstruction here. Third is the red light here with the panel signature which means the machine needs servicing. Now, how to adjust the flow? So basically I am turning this to zero which means there is no oxygen flowing through this. You can see there is no air coming out of here. When I increase there is air coming out and you can see it is between 1 to 2 liters. You can increase this to 6 liters. The aim is to make sure that the patient, if you are taking an auto saturation, the level should be between 95 to 96 auto saturation. That is the thing. Now this is how the entire setup is there. Now from here, there is a cannula pipe or the nasal cannula pipes are there. One end goes here and the second one with the nasal cannula or the mask goes to the patient. Now there is one another thing important thing that I have missed. The first thing the numbers. It actually, uh, this is a number of hours on which your filter has worked. I will show you the filter. The life is of 5000 hours. After 5000 hours you have to change the filter. I will show you the filter. So this is a filter which is you pull it like this. It is not fixed, it is just loosely arranged. So this is an oxygen filter. It prevents dust and any kind of microbes entering the system. So the life is of 5000 hours. Once it is over, 